Hey, it's Kay. I'm going to make fried snow from Undertale. So I actually made a previous version, but the deep frying component kind of scared me. Danger, danger, danger. So I'm going to try and make a safer version that's equally as tasty. Okay. So before looking at frying alternatives, I need to create this snow, which is one and a half cups of milk, a quarter cup of condensed milk, and a pinch of salt. It needs a good mix before it goes into the freezer. I actually realize it's easier to shake it up rather than mix it all with the food. As you can see, after taking it out of the freezer, it's solid as a rock. So I actually Googled the taste of snow because I was just curious how people describe it. And um, snow tastes like chewy water. How is it chewy water anyway? Okay, so before it melts, use a fork and just scrape. Okay, so that's a good amount for now. Get some cling wrap. Ice right there. Wrap it up. Just gently. And then it goes back into the freezer for a couple hours. So now it's time to make the coating of the snow. You need a coating because water and oil don't really mix. So I couldn't find cornflakes but these will do. Kind of just tastes like cornflakes with a ton of sugar. Grab a Ziploc bag, put that in. and then give it a good. It should look a little fine. And we also need something to help bind the cornflakes to the snow. So one egg white. I actually find it easier to separate it with my hand. And then add a tablespoon of sugar. And then it just needs a little mix to combine. Then take the snowball out of the freezer, unwrap it, dunk it into the egg whites, then into the cornflakes and just repeat because you want the snowball to be completely covered in the cornflakes. And then of course it goes back into the freezer for another hour. Now it's time for the scary part. First you need to get the oil temperature to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then get the snowball from the freezer and put it in for 10 seconds. So this is the fried snow. It's pretty good, but I don't really want to deep fry this again. Okay, so what I'm thinking is to actually just fry the cornflakes in a bit of butter and then just coat the ice cream at the end and that should suffice. Okay, this is actually better than frying it in oil. The butter actually adds some sort of nuttiness. So I took another snowball out of the freezer and tried to coat it with this mixture. But as you can see, it didn't really work out as I planned. The coating barely stuck onto the snowball. So I thought the butter would help it combine, but that didn't really work. I don't really want to use the raw egg whites, so we need to figure out a different way. Okay, so I've got an idea. I watch a lot of Dylan LeMay's videos and wait, let me just show you. I'm gonna create a magic shell, dip the snowball into the magic shell and then into this and hopefully that will work. So magic shell is actually surprisingly easy to make. Melt one cup of white chocolate, a microwave just works fine. And then add one and a half tablespoons of coconut oil. Again, giving it a good mix. To test that the magic shell actually works, just dunk an ice cube and it should harden up. Now we know the magic shell works, it's time to test again. So 
So I got the final snowball out of the freezer, unwrapped it, dunked it in the magic shell, and finally the cornflakes. Making sure to do this very fast before the magic shell hardens up. And then it's finally time to try this fried snow. Oh, okay, let's see how this tastes. Okay, so the outside's actually hard, so that's a good sign. Okay. This is so tasty. The fried snow itself just tasted like cereal but cold. But this has chocolate, the buttery cornflakes. Not only is this safer, but it's tastier. I guess the other option is to just buy one, but this has too much sentimental value.